All right, welcome back for another Ruby reaction. I'm Shorty P. And I'm Duke. And that's Munkin and that's Blondie. Hi, right, what's up? <laughs> I always forget about that part. It's all good. <laughs> so we're back for season two. And we're back. Of Ruby reactions. Uh, we're going to... Uh, Monk <clears throat> and Blondie have both never seen anything having to do with Ruby. Never. So they're joining us for uh, the intro to season two. Excuse me. Sorry. Not really from around here. New character. Mm -hmm. um, would you mind pointing me in the direction of the shop? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he can't see that. He really can't. New character. You were lost. Mercury, I will seriously pay you to shut up. That's not your money. But it could be yours for five minutes of silence. Mm, no deal. Mm, fine. Whatever. You what just me. happened? <laughs> I don't know. We just met each other. She was so rude. But did they just meet each other? She knew his name. How much farther? A few blocks. Oh, this place is so dull. Meh, I kind of like it. Tall buildings, diverse culture. And nice, dopey people who are easy to pickpocket. That's every city. Ah, oh, he's a thief. Master thief. Please don't take my money. I barely have enough to get by. Mm. You're no fun today. Store. That's what it looks like. Be right there. That's a very large bell. It's the never ending story. Home to every book under the sun. I do this carry book some books. Well this book is dangerous. <laughs> How may I help you? Nice. Actually, Mutton chops. I was wondering, do you have any copies of The Thief and the Butcher? Yes, we do. That's great. Would you like a copy? No. That's Logan. Just wondering. <laughs> Just wondering. Oh, oh. What about Violet's Garden in paperback? He's got it. Hardback, too. Ooh. Options are nice. Eh, no pictures. Hey, do you have any comics? Near the front. Oh, no, wait. What about Third Crusade? Um... I don't believe we carry that one. Oh. What was this place called again? Tuxin's Book Trade. And you're Tuxin? That's right. So then I take it that you're the one who came up with the catchphrase. Yes. And what was it again? <sighs> Tuxin's Book Trade, home to every book under the sun. Except the Third Crusade. It's just a catchphrase. It's false advertising. <laughs> You shouldn't make a promise you can't keep, Tuxin. I hear you're planning on leaving. Moving all the way to Vacuo. Your brothers in the White Fang wouldn't be happy to hear that. And neither are we. You know who we are, don't you? Yes. And you know why we're here? Yes. So... Are you going to fight back? Yes! Told you it was Logan. <laughs> Good job. Got some pretty sweet arm here. <sighs> it's a piss poor version of Wolverine. I like the pictures. He's more saber tooth. You think so? Yeah, I would see that, yeah. Nothing. Just going over notes from last semester. Blame. Where'd she catch that grape? <laughs> right? That's kind of one of our... Oh, okay. That makes sense. Sisters! Friends! Weiss. Weiss! Ha! <laughs> nice. I had a dream. This ought to be good. Is that yellow-haired girl Weiss? No, no. Yang. Yes, Yang. Weiss is white. Ever ever. White hair. There you go. Not a crook. Hmm. Ah! Not a crook. Nice. Yang. 
puns. She's the queen of puns. Yeah. Look, guys, it's been a good two weeks, and between more exchange students arriving and the tournament at the end of the year, our second semester is going to be great. But classes start back up tomorrow, which is why I've taken the time to schedule a series of wonderful events for us today. I don't know whether to be proud or scared of what you have in store. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hey. I think I might sit this one out. Sit out or not, I think however we spend this last day, we should do it as a team. I for one think that. Uh oh. Somebody done fucked up. Ooh. <laughs> Nora, it was it was him. Of course it was Rand. We were fighting side by side, and she was super fast, and I threw a banana at a guy, which sounds gross, but it was awesome. Nice. Right? And the best part is, she's a faunist. But that's a secret, okay? Got it. And not a, I'm gonna go tell Scarlet the second son turns his back secret. I'm talking secret, secret. Whoa, chill What the hell is he doing at Beacon? Uh, there's a tournament coming up. Oh, okay. I just don't want to screw this what the up. hell, Monk? The people here are the coolest. That was a Monk. No offense to you guys. Who did that? Who did the okay, point? Okay. I'm really excited for you to meet them. So I be cool. Okay? Somebody knock it off. You're gonna be cool, right? Dude. Good point. <laughs> what point? <laughs> Nora, of course. It's on food fight. What's the point? You've got team the A team versus the B team. Pretty much. But why? For funsies. No, because they were messing with each other earlier. Yes. <laughs> She's got turkeys for gauntlets. That's hilarious. Breadsticks. <laughs> Take their croissant. Two studs. <laughs> That's hilarious. A swordfish or yes. a sword. That's awesome. Ooh. Ugh. Nora roughed her. She just got watermeloned. She got Gallagherd? What do you call that? <laughs> I like Gallagherd. That was funny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is that celery? I think so. <laughs> Maybe bok choy. <laughs> It's a leak. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> eh, be careful. Nice. <sighs> I feel like after it's all said and done, somebody's gonna have a really good like fruit salad. Oh damn! You are a roughed up Yang. I forgot about that. Yeah. Nor is no joke. No, she's not. What the hell she hit her with? Uh, some sort of grape soda. <laughs> oh. Everybody done forgot about her. Eesh. Shit just got serious. Her speed. Look at that. Uh, I want to declare Ruby the winner. That's what it that. looks like. Yeah. I love these guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is she really mad? Mrs. Goodwitch. Yeah. Children, please do not play 
with your food. Hup -up, hup -up and, and fucking Gryffindor just had disagreement. <laughs> Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> They're supposed to be the defenders of the They're kids. And they will be. But right now they're still children. So why not let them play the part? After all, it isn't a role they'll have forever. Kids again. This is turning out just like the divorce. <laughs> oh. Spare us the thought of you procreating. That was a joke. And this just might tell me where you two have been all day. What? Uh. I'm a professional, sweetheart. Pay attention. Maybe you'll learn something. Ooh. Why do you have this address? Wouldn't you like to know? Yeah, I would. Now, where have you been all day? Cleaning up your problems. One of them, at least. I had that under control. Two packed bags and a ticket out of bail said otherwise. Listen, you little punk. If it were up to me, I would take you and your little street rat friend here, and I would... <laughs> I'd, uh... He's just a pawn, man. Yep. Cinder, I thought I made it clear that you were to eliminate the would-be runaway. I was going to... He was going to escape to Vacuo. Mercury and I decided to take it upon ourselves to kill the rat. I think he was some sort of cat, actually. What? Like a puma? Yeah, there you go. Quiet. Did I not specifically instruct you two to keep your hands clean while in Vale? <laughs> I just thought... Don't think. <laughs> Obey. He's Damn. back there making all sorts of Won't motions. That's funny. And you. They killed him? Why what they said. Uh, 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 I'm doing shit. Sorry if I've been a little busy stealing every speck of dust in the kingdom. You're an inspiration to every punk with a gun and a ski mask. Look around, Ooh. kid. I've got this town running scared. Police camping out at every corner, dust prices through the roof, and we're sitting pretty in an old warehouse with more dust crystals, vials, and rounds, and we know what to do with. Speaking of which, if you guys wouldn't mind filling me in on your Grandmaster plan, it might actually make my next string of robberies go a little smoother. Oh, Roman, have a little faith. You'll know what you need when you need to know. Uh. Besides, we're done with dust. Okay, then what now? We're moving. Have the White Fang clear out this building. I'll send you details and coordinates tonight. Coordinates? We're proceeding to phase two. Different song. Yep. But we can't listen to it because we get fucked every time. Do we? Yeah. Do we get last time? Oh yeah, every time. Damn. All right, used twos. What do you guys think about it? I don't know what the heck I just watched. I feel like if you had watched the other episodes, you would be hooked like me. Maybe. Maybe it's a lot different of it, uh, the animation style that I'm used to. Yeah, yeah it really is. Is it there is. anything else that you guys have watched that's done like that? No. no. Uh, what's the origin? I mean, is it American? Is it Japanese? American. It's, okay, I, yeah. I figured it was because it looked like... Uh, what is that older one? There was one that was made in the 90s that it reminded me of. I can't remember the name of it. Homestar Runner? No, shit. <laughs> It's no. dot com. No, 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 no. It was. Uh, I bought back your fondue pie. No, it was a. It was a mecha type uh, series, but I forgot what it was called. Not Gundam, obviously. No, it wasn't Gundam. No. It was a shorter one than Gundam. I can't remember the name of it, but it was. I it wasn't like that, but it was kind of reminiscent of American. So interesting. No, I didn't know anything about it. I didn't know that the animation was 
that much different and all yeah. that stuff. So. Yeah, it's it's definitely different. Hmm. All right, everybody, thank you for tuning in. Uh, this has been Ruby Season Two, Volume One, Episode One, whatever. Uh, volume Two, Episode One. You know they got they name it really weird, so but you know what we're talking about. So we'll see you next time.